So, Kane, so Keynesian macroeconomists argue that the solution to recessions is to undertake what's called expansionary fiscal policy. So fiscal policy is talking about government spending and expansionary means we're going to have an increase in government spending or a decrease in taxes. Both of these things are going to stimulate aggregate demand, which is going to help move the economy out of recession. Now, part of the Keynesian doctrine that is never followed, which is part of why we talk about the different zones, because, you know, essentially, once we get to closer to full employment, all the Keynesian policies and thoughts go out the window. And part of that is the fact that nobody wants to be the person to take the punch bowl away from the party, right? And so when the economy is operating above potential GDP, so when these expansionary fiscal policies are allowed to take place and when they actually have an impact, let's say that we overshoot and let's say the economy is above our potential GDP. So that means that unemployment is low, but, right, unemployment is low, which is good. We want unemployment to be low, check for that. But inflationary rises in the price level are a concern. So in this situation, the Keynesian perspective, and again, this always gets forgotten, the Keynesian response is to participate in contractionary fiscal policy. Meaning that they would use tax increases or decreases in government spending. When have we heard anybody talk about how increases of taxes could help to fight inflation, right? They don't talk about it. You know why? Because increasing taxes is politically unpalatable, right? Nobody wants higher taxes. Politicians aren't going to, you know, argue for higher taxes. In fact, um, you know, all of the politicians uh, in the grand old party have, you know, been kind of forced, they've kind of been railroaded into signing a pact that says that they won't, um, they won't increase taxes at all unless it's, you know, unless it keeps the budget balance uh, exactly where it is, right? Unless they're net neutral or net positive changes to the tax code. And so we've got a whole arm of the political party that are ideologically opposed to this theoretical response, right? So decreasing government spending or increasing taxes. Yes, Keynes says that in, when times are bad, increase government spending and decrease taxes. But he also says when we start to operate above potential GDP and unemployment is low but inflation pressures remain, we need to decrease aggregate demand by doing contractionary fiscal policy to decrease and reduce those inflationary pressures. The result of doing this would probably be very little reduction in output and a very little rise in unemployment, but would have a significant impact on the price level. It would alleviate some of that pressure on the price level and possibly even have some downward pressure as a result. But again, Nobody's ever going to raise taxes, right? What we've seen over time in the United States is that, you know, taxes get cut and they stay cut. 